Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Boy, I tell you what, the generosity of this community just, boy, I, <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. My good friend and buddy, John over here, Thrifty Kniffy, sent me a wonderful Barlow knife. But hold on just a moment. Mmm, there's that delicious sound having your morning coffee in this wonderful Buck coffee mug that Warthog sent me. I uh, featured that in my Saturday chat video and, and talked about uh, Warthog a little bit in that, just in case you didn't catch it. But yesterday was a very busy day. Went to a reenactment and boy, was it hot. It was a scorcher. And of course, you're out there in them wool uniforms and I come home last night and I was just beat. And Mrs. Knife Delight says, um, you got the only mail today and it's on your desk. And so I go into my desk and here's this nice box that came all the way from that fantastic state, the Lone Star State of Texas. And I open it up and I find this beautiful Barlow. Just a beautiful Barlow. Yeah, and we'll be taking a look at this here real quick. If I can get that. Fo there we go. Good focus on that. So John sent a little note here. It says, Tom, I had to send this one back home to Iowa. Thanks for all you do. Cheers. TK. Well, thank you so much for thinking of me, uh, John. This is, again, just a wonderful Barlow knife. It's an advertising knife. As you can see here, it says High Capacity, Humboldt, Iowa. So High Capacity was a company started back in uh, 1978. And you basically had an old mechanic in his repair shop in this little small town. And he started modifying tractor parts to, to uh, get better performance out of them and uh, sold them to local farmers. So they could have higher capacity parts and be more efficient with their machinery. So, you know, today they're a seller of uh, aftermarket tractor parts and uh, other agri agricultural parts, such as lights and cushion seats and clutches and uh, air conditioning compressors. And I, I can't help but remember a, a story my grandpa told me uh, when it comes to uh, cushion tractor seats. Now, the old tractors came with just a, a metal seat, and they were not very comfortable at all. And my grandpa, and I don't know when this was, if it was back in the 40s or so, anyway, he bought an aftermarket tractor seat, and it was a cushioned seat, and he spent $40 for it. And all of his neighbors were just, they just thought he was nuts for spending $40 on a cushioned seat. And his reply back to him was, you know what? I don't know about you, but I spend 10 to 12 hours a day in my, on my tractor. Uh, I would rather be comfortable at my tractor. How often or how much time do you get to spend at home in your easy chair? He says, I would rather be comfortable all day long than spend the money on, on an easier chair for just an hour or two at night. So a lot of wisdom in that. So anyway, yep. This nice advertising knife. John, I can't thank you enough. So let's take a look at this. So it's a, a two-bladed Barlow. Of course, you got your pen knife, uh, pen blade there. And I can't help but to notice the nice sharpening choils that came with this. And there's a uh, patent number, I believe. I can't read it behind the, or through the, yeah, it's a patent number there. And look at this nice, beautiful, scripted Barlow in there. So you've got that nice sharpening choil. There's your pen blade. And then your main blade, of course, is a clip point. Again, look at that nice sharpening choil. These blades are in very good condition. I don't think this knife was hardly ever used. It could probably use... I uh, might need to get it... Uh, Sharpen it up just a little bit. Touch it up a little bit. But look at the condition. Listen to the snap. 
Nice strong pulls on it. Nice walk and talk. And uh, so this Barlow was made by Colonial. And I figured this knife probably came from the 70s or 80s time uh, frame. So if this company was founded in 78, I wasn't too far off because, you know, they probably gave this knife out in the 80s or so, maybe into the 90s. Got these really nice brass pins right there, three of them. And that's a, a synth synthetic cover there, but just, it's done well. Look at that. Let me turn it over and look at the back side here. We got those nice brass liners in there. Yeah, can't get it to focus. There's a good focus there. Look at those brass liners. Now these these covers, they're all flush. There hasn't been there's they're not cracked, they're not discolored. Just a beautiful white, almost like a white bone. There's a look at it there. Again, nice and flush. These brass pins feel really good. You can feel them just a little bit, but that's because they're mushroomed over to hold the cover on. Nothing wrong with that. And again, that nice Barlow script. Hold on just a moment. Let me get this wiped off. There, there's a better shot at them bolsters without all the fingerprints <laughs> oh I hate that trying to show how beautiful something is and your fingerprints are all over them there we go better shot at the tang stamp now Barlow's are not a pattern that I have a lot of so this is a very welcome addition to my collection and John, again, thank you so much of, for thinking of me. They're just, you know, every day you're watching videos in the knife community where somebody has sent somebody something. I can't think of any other communities online where all the channels get along so well and everybody's promoting each other and sending each other, you know, in this case, knives back and forth. Let me wipe that off just a little bit here. Let's see if we can get a really good shot at those uh, brass liners. There we go. Look at that. Nice and even all the way around. Let me really curve around there. Nice fit and finish there. For a, you know, 30, 40 year old knife. Now it looks like it's been carried quite a bit. I mean... That's kind of rubbed off just a little bit, so it's got some pocket wear. But the blades are in still in really good condition, I think. So, John, God bless you, my friend. I really appreciate this. It is so awesome. You know, <laughs> I come home Friday night after a long day of work, and I had a nice gift from Warthog. And then I come home last night all beat up and tired and, and kind of grumpy and everything. And boy, this just brought a smile to my face. A smile to my face. So there you have it. This wonderful two-bladed Barlow advertising knife. Until next time, have a very delightful day.